Sophia from class S2302 to B2 from ATM Palatangani. So we are doing our project for ICT for my co. This is a video entitled Multimedia and Data. So I am your honor to sign me. I am one of the students of First of all, we're going to talk about the definition. Database is a shared, integrated computer, a structure that houses and chooses and metadata. is raw facts and metadata is for um, data about data and user data is actually raw facts uh, this and user data is made of reading lots of information. It is unprocessed information. Metadata. Metadata describe the data characteristics and the set of relationships that links the data found within the database. <laughs> Multimedia Database Multimedia Database is a collection of related multimedia data Multimedia database has five elements in it. The first one is text. The second one is video. The third one is image. The fourth one is audio. And the last one is animation. For text, we use a standard language which is HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Video is a sequence image data at specific rates. For image, the format used is bitmap, jpeg, and mpeg. Audio is our recordings in a string of bits in digitized form. And the animation is uh, the act of making something come alive. Next, we are going to move to issue of multimedia database. Multimedia data consists of variety of media format or file representations including TIFS, BMP, PPT, IBUE, FPX, JPEG, MPG, MPEG, AVI, MID, WAV, DOC, GIF, EPS, PNG, and ETC. 
because of restrictions on the conditions from one format to the another, the use of data in specific format has been limited as well. Usually, the data size of multimedia is large, such as video. Therefore, multimedia, multimedia data often require a large storage. Next, multimedia database consumes a lot of processing time as well as bandwidth. The last one is some multimedia data types such as video, audio, and animation sequences have temporal requirements that have implications on their storage, manipulations, and presentations, but image. Video and graphic data have special constraints in terms of their content. The next is the challenges of the multimedia database. is modeling. Modeling is working in this area can improve database versus information retrieval techniques. Thus, <coughs> documents constitute a specialized area and needs of special consideration. The conceptual, logical, and physical design of multimedia database has not been addressed fully as performance and tuning issues at its level are far more complex as they consist of variety of formats like JPEG, GIF, PNG, and PEG, which is not easy to convert from one to form one form to another. Storage. Storage of multimedia database on my standard on any standard disk presents the problem of representation, compression, mapping to device hierarch hierarchies, achieving and buffering during input output operation. In DBMS, a block uh, which is binary large object facility allows and type bitmaps to store, store and retrieve. And is performance. Performance is for an application involving video playback or audio video synchronization, physical limitation dominate. The use of parallel processing may alleviate some problems, but such techniques are not yet fully developed. Apart from this multimedia database, consume a lot of processing time as well as bandwidth. Last one is implementation of multimedia database. First is digital digital library. A digital library, digital repository or digital collection is an online database of digital objects that can include text, still, 
image, audio, video or other digital media formats. Objects are consist of digitized content like print or photograph, as well as originally produced digital content like word, word processor files or social media posts. In addition to storing content, digital libraries provide means for organize, organizing, searching and retrieving the content contained in the collection. Next is video on demand. Video on demand is a programming system which allows users to select and watch or listen to video or audio content such as movies and TV shows whenever they choose rather than at a scheduled bro broadcast time. The method that today with over the app programming method over the app programming during the 20th century. IPTV technology is commonly used to bring VOD to televisions and personal computers. VOD does have some limitations which one of them is not having enough bandwidth to watch it. The last one is telemedicine. Telemedicine is the use of telecommunication, telecommunication and information technology to provide clinical health care from a distance. It has been used to overcome distant barriers and to improve access to medical services that would often not be consistently available in distant rural communities. It is, it is also used to save lives in critical care and emergency situations.